Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. Something uh, different again. I don't know if I'm doing these sort of benchmarks or throttling things, but today we're going to be doing a CPU throttle. Now, if you're into that sort of kinky stuff, you won't find that here. Okay, so I've got four phones here. They should all be at 100% battery. I've charged them. 100%. Please don't let me down. Yes, they're all at 100%. Actually, taking these up a little bit. Uh, so we have the Snapdragon 870, the popular chip, really popular chip. We have Google Tensor chip there as well. Still in its early life, early stages, you know, first gen Tensor. We have the Snapdragon 888 on the S21 FE. Um, some people. I haven't really liked it. Overheating issues. And then we have the brand new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Right. Xiaomi 12X, Pixel 6 Pro, S21 FE, and the Xiaomi 12 Pro. We're going to do CPU throttling tests. Wi Fi is off, mobile data is off, NFC is off, there's nothing running in the background. Um, we're going to do a five minute. Uh, oh, there we go, five minutes. Let's display the temperature as well. So we should pretty much, uh, let's have a look. Okay. So bear in mind the battery life as well. Both of these are now down to 99%. Okay. So I think we're gonna start it off. Five minute test, see what happens. I was there was a video that brought brought to my attention uh, yesterday. The Xiaomi 12 Pro undertook this uh, throttling test, and there were some weird graphical sort of results. So we're going to start this now. Start test. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just make sure everything's five minutes because. Whoop. Yeah, five minutes, the same stuff. Let's come out of that one. Nothing to clear, yes there is. Okay, now we're ready. 99%, 99%, 100% 9 battery. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Five minutes. Let's see what sort of results we get. We may increase the time after. Right, guys, this is some exciting stuff. Let me quickly hover my temperature thing over the top. 32 around there. 32, it's 33, just to get a well, 38 there. That's sort of where it's hot. And then the 12 Pro, 39 hit, hit there. Okay, now, Let's look at this one first, the Snapdragon 870. Look at that, for the five minutes, uh, the performance over time was impressive. It's very, very impressive. All dark green as well, rarely dipped below sort of, I don't know, didn't dip below 90%. So that is absolutely fantastic, Snapdragon 870. Then we get the Google Tensor chip, which obviously I did say it's still in its 
early sort of life, the first gen started off well and then sort of gradual dips and then it probably raised a little bit near the end. Um, there you can see with a few and it's not as dark green as, as say on the, um, the Snapdragon 870. So it drops in performance there. The Snapdragon 888 on the S21 FE. This solid green pretty much throughout, but as you could see near the end of the five minutes, it's, there was a gradual decline in performance over time. Uh, but I think this has done better than the Google Tensor chip. Not as good as the Snapdragon 870. And then, quite embarrassing really, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, the brand new chip from Snapdragon, um, had some dips there, you can see. Dip there, it goes sort of like yellow as well. And then, yeah, it's quite unstable, really. Unstable performance. And then near the end, what, like the last minute or so, absolutely dropped in performance there. Very surprised, but this is similar to what I did see uh, the other day. So, yeah. So what does that tell you? Well, what that tells me is the Snapdragon 870, like everyone's been saying, is the chip. That is the daddy chip, the Snapdragon 870. I don't know how Snapdragon we've got it, or Qualcomm, whatever you want to call it. We've got it so wrong with the 8 Gen 1, so it seems at the moment. Uh, that definitely needs some looking at and some tweaking as well. Uh, but that's been quite interesting, actually. Quite a, a great insight. Google may have some things to improve on the next generation for the Tensor chip. Um, but yeah, I'll let them off there. I'm quite a big Pixel fan anyway. Google fan. Snapdragon 888, I was quite surprised at that. I was expecting something similar to the um, 8 Gen 1 as well. So yeah, battery percentage check. 97% on the 12, or oh, 96% now, 12 Pro, 96% on the S21 FE, 100% still on the Pixel 6 Pro. And we have 99% on the Xiaomi 12X. Fantastic battery life around this area. Average battery life at this end with obviously the higher, uh, more powerful chips, but less reliable. Okay, guys, so I will call it that. Quite a, an interesting result there. But as I thought, and I'm quite happy really, the Snapdragon 870 on the Xiaomi 12X come out on top. Uh, still using this phone and it's wonderful. Absolutely brilliant smartphone. The Snapdragon 870 is a, a marvelous little chip really is really really impressed so thank you very much for watching guys if you found this video helpful do smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well and also follow me on my social medias check the links out in the description below i do sort of post behind the scenes stuff as well uh, but yeah thanks for watching see you soon Bye bye